uh, in this segment, we will look at uh, synthesis of three phase AC. And applications could be electric drives, uh, for example, in windmills, uninterruptible power supplies, high power ones. Uh, they have three phase output, uh, photovoltaic systems, uh, which are larger than residential applications, than in residential applications, and other power system applications. Uh, where these could be used. So once again, to uh, look at the overall, overall structure, uh, we have the utility on one side, load on the other side, power flow of course could be in either direction, this load could be the source, and utility as the sink, and uh, there's a voltage link in the middle, and a converter one on one side and two on the other side, but our focus really is on this side here, where the where we have, we assume, a voltage uh, available at the current, at the voltage port, and uh, by chopping it up, uh, we are synthesizing a low frequency AC, uh, for example, uh, to feed power in or to draw power from here, as the case may be. Okay. So uh, we have seen in an earlier segment how we can synthesize a low frequency AC from a switching power pole by controlling its uh, 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 voltage uh, to be sinusoidal as shown here. And if you look at uh, the voltage waveform, uh, this is the average, but if you look at uh, the, in detail what this waveform looks like at this instant of time, uh, we see that uh, it consists of these pulses. Uh, and if you look at this one switching time period, it's a VD over here equal to the DC input voltage and zero here. So the average is high as uh, you would expect at this, we should get at this time. Whereas at this time, the, the average is low. So if you look at the details of uh, this uh, voltage waveform, you'll see that during the switching time period, the voltage is uh, high for a small uh, fraction of the time and it's zero at a larger fraction of time, and therefore the average of this is smaller, equal to this much over here. So this way we can synthesize uh, this AC waveform, and in doing so, we have put this uh, VD over two as the common mode voltage. So uh, we are trying to synthesize three phase AC. So we will have three uh, power poles as shown here, are controlled by these uh, switching signals, uh, A, B, and C, and uh, they can be represented on an average uh, by this circuit here, by three uh, ideal transformers with uh, controllable turns ratios. And uh, <clears throat> at the output side, uh, we can show this uh, average here uh, to be, uh, you know, at the output of each uh, power pole, uh, we have this common mode voltage in each of these poles, plus uh, we have on top this uh, AC voltage, uh, which that we wish to synthesize across the, the output. So from here to here, whatever we wish to synthesize, this VAN, that is uh, what we will, uh, we, we would get, I would like to get, and similarly from here to here, VBN, we'd like to get over here, okay? So uh, if you look at the output stage, uh, the average voltages would uh, look like this. And once again, uh, you know, this common mode voltage is uh, common to all three. And therefore, uh, you, we can easily see that uh, it's, a, you know, it will not have an effect on the output load. If this is the load, uh, then it will not have an effect on this output load. And uh, by superposition, let's say we suppress these uh, VAN, VBN, and VCN, and just have the common mode voltages, then we get this circuit here. Okay, and as you can see, uh, identical voltages are applied to each of these three uh, phases, and therefore, if each one of them is carrying a current I, then uh, 3I by Kirchhoff's current law should add up to zero, and therefore the current is zero, and therefore these common mode voltages wouldn't uh, affect the
this uh, load over here. Yeah. So, uh, continuing uh, the discussion from uh, synthesizing DC to single phase AC to three phase AC. <coughs> uh, once again, we have this uh, common mode voltage of VD over two, and with respect to this, uh, we introduce this uh, AC voltage VAN, and therefore adding this to this, uh, we have the pole output voltage uh, VAN. So between A and this DC bus voltage N, this voltage VAN, average of that is shown to be this sine wave. And similarly, if we have for uh, poles B and C, and they are displaced by 120 degrees uh, with respect to each other, uh, plotted uh, as a function of omega t over here. <coughs> and of course, the limit to how high the pole voltage can be is Vd, because a pole voltage, a Van, can be only in this range here, it cannot be any higher. And the same thing can be said about uh, poles B and C. The, the waveforms are shown here. Uh, we have a triangular uh, waveform signal level, which is establishing the switching frequency. And uh, <coughs> this is being compared with respect to three control voltages in a comparator. And uh, the output voltages are shown over here. Uh, and uh, you can see that uh, uh, you know, they, they are identical to what uh, we had uh, discussed earlier, and uh, they establish then the duty ratio for poles A, B, and C here. We only need to look at one half the switching time period from here to here. <coughs> the other half would be identical here. So we can uh, actually do uh, model these things in piecewise. Similarly, we could have modeled single phase uh, synthesis and DC in piecewise. Um, so this circuit uh, is for a uh, three switching power poles where switches are represented, and uh, where this is uh, where each switching power pole is represented by its average by beams of an ideal transformer uh, whose uh, trans ratio. Uh, is being controlled. And the output is shown here. Uh, from the switching uh, power pole simulation, we see these waveforms for currents uh, which have uh, waveforms which have ripple, whereas uh, from this average simulation, we get uh, the current waveforms which are uh, without the ripple here. And they match uh, very well. So this brings us to the end of uh, this segment. Uh, where we have uh, uh, looked at uh, synthesis of uh, uh, three-phase AC uh, for more, not only motor drives, but also for uh, other applications uh, like uh, power in power systems. And uh, maybe I shouldn't really say uh, AC motor, but electric drives, because this could be used in, for example, in windmills and not could be, is used. <clears throat>